Hey guys, my name is Waylon and welcome to how to play goalkeeper in FIFA 16 using a controller. These controls are for playing goalkeeper in pro clubs or playing in the goalkeeper career mode. Now if you do play in the goalkeeper career mode, I suggest watching my slider video which I uploaded two days ago. It will definitely help you get more saves in your career mode. We will start off with the basic controls how to play the keeper. You use your left thumbstick to move the keeper. The back button on the controller toggles the camera target so you can move the camera back and forth. This is especially good when the players have the ball in the opponent's half. You can't see much if you're behind the goalkeeper so you press the button it moves you forward and you can take a good look. Now when your players have the ball you can still kind of control them. If you press the A button he will pass it just like there and if you press the X button he will try to go for a cross. I generally try to use these buttons as much as I can because it definitely speeds up the process. Otherwise, they'll just be passing it and they won't really do anything. You gotta give them that little push. Pressing Y on the controller sends a nice through ball where the player can run. And finally, if you do press the B button, the player will then shoot. However, try to do it in such a way that the player is actually facing the net because if they're facing away, they will turn around quickly and the shot will just go wherever it feels like. Now, if you hold the left trigger and move the left stick left and right, it will allow you to slowly move facing the ball. As you can see, I removed the left trigger and I took a giant step left and right. However, holding that definitely helps restrict the movement. It's crucial in key situations. Now, these controls are for when you do have the ball. B or X is to drop kick. A is to pass or throw the ball if you have it in your hands. And Y is to charge, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Or if you have it grabbed, you can drop the ball and run with it. Holding the left bumper will allow you to stay in the targeted area, that circle on the ground and using the right stick in the direction of where the ball is going will allow you to dive in that direction. As you saw in this clip, I pressed Y to run out and then I pressed the right stick up to punch it. If you press the right stick down, it's more for a grab, such as a rolling ball. If you press the right stick to the left, it's for a diving save to the left and a right stick to the right, it's diving save to the right. Additionally, if you press the right stick up, you can also catch it sometimes. Sometimes he punches, sometimes it catches. You can't control that. It just does it on its own. Now, some other controls that are there that I don't really use are X and B. X allows you to dive at the feet of the opponent and B does an anticipation save. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just stick with the Y and right stick combo. Now, moving on to when the opponent has the ball, holding the right bumper allows two players to contain the person that has the ball. As you can see here, two players are running. However, don't abuse it too much because then players will be leaving spots open, which will lead to open areas for the opponent to pass into. So yeah, generally I use my second finger to press Y to run out, close down the angle, especially on a one-on-one -on -one situation. And then I use my thumb with the right stick, diving in anticipation of the shot to save it. One final control, once you unlock the goalkeeper up for corner trait, you can press the right button to send the goalkeeper up on corners and on free kicks as well. And guys, I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, leave them in comments down below. I might make another video explaining more tips if you'd like. But until next time, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my game settings for the goalkeeper career mode. Uh, some of my subscribers have been asking for what sliders and stuff I've been using. And obviously I'm just taking these settings from my FIFA 15 gameplay.